Greg Daniels and Steve Carell, who we all know from The Office, have now dropped Space Force on us via Netflix. It is a star-studded cast and an hour will take. We're going to let you know whether this political satire is a hit or if it is a failed launch. Like many Netflix series, Space Force is directed by a slew of different directors and it stars Steve Carell in the main role playing Captain Naird, who has been chosen to head Space Force, right? A new kind of government branch dedicated to new exploration and advancements in space exploration. Boots on the moon. Yes, Gotta boots, get those boots on, the on the moon. U.S. boots on the moon. <laughs> Whether they're made in Malaysia or China doesn't matter, but as long as they're Americans in those boots. <laughs> yeah, and the series basically takes you through Captain Captain Naird's character development as he maneuvers both his family life and his work life, right? And this is a, like you said, political satire. Mm -hmm. It's brimming with comedy, brimming with exaggeration and hyperbole, unapologetically makes fun of popular culture, attacks on our political environment. It does it very, very in your face. It's often heavy handed with, yeah. you know, commentary on racial slurs and, uh, racial discrimination a lot of, a lot of cultural stereotypes it primarily makes fun of inept leaders i right. think that's kind of like at the forefront right right and, and it's pretty clear i mean obviously they took the title space force from you know what president trump had said he wanted right for our one of our space programs and so right. it's insinuated obviously that steve curl's character is supposed to in a way i guess mirror our president yeah and so that's what you get but you know you get a lot of shots on both sides of the political spectrum i would say it's, but, it's well but balanced yeah it, it, it's a little balanced i would say though um it, it is kind of skews a little left yeah it definitely right. of course the focus and the humor is is kind of more liberal of right. course with you know the introduction of ideas like let's listen to science and whether or not you should follow direct orders you know right based on the humanity of the of those decisions and and so we won't get too political with it but just to kind of give you guys some proper context but that's actually one of the great things about the show is that even though the Carell character Captain Naird is portrayed as this kind of like goofy inept <laughs> guy you know with remnants there of the office exactly, it, it, it yeah. had some Michael Scott vibes a little bit mm -hmm. for me but one of the cool things about the show is that he learns to accept criticism in his job as a leader puts kind of like his arrogance aside and that's kind of like what what is the redemptive quality about the show it exactly. makes it a good show ultimately in my mind one that you can appreciate the first two episodes made him look very inept like we were saying you know and a lot of that was also how they placed the humor but as, as the season goes you see that there's more heart to the character um, they do some things on the side that really bring out his characterization so you kind of start really getting behind him and in doing that it really changed the show for me because I would say in the first two episodes I was like wow this is some super uber campy humor that really reminded me of kind of Mel Brooks that was good for like decades ago but not so much funny nowadays and then as they started to really develop his character I was like it's changing kind of the tone of the show mm -hmm. and so that's what kept me interested yeah the pop culture references were pretty cool you know mm -hmm. uh, references to like Star Wars Star Trek uh, yeah. Rocky just like big movies you yeah, know a lot of different things um, but you mentioned a good point that it's very Mel Brooks uh, it kind of reminded me at times of the movie Galaxy Quest a little bit oh, yeah, yeah. with Tim Allen and Sigourney Weaver kind of like that like yeah like kind of like that spoofy kind of dim-witted humor but very smart political statements injected throughout right and, see, and, and that's what that's what buoys this show is that they have good ideas right you know despite the fact that sometimes the humor is a little heavy-handed uh, it's I could see how some people uh, might find the humor offensive in today's culture it's not very PC it doesn't bother me but I, I can see how some people would be bothered by it absolutely but yeah yeah good ideas I would say that this is a show that I didn't really feel like I was I wanted to binge, you know, but that might have something to do with the fact that there were in a lot of cliffhangers, you know. It's an okay show. Um, I'm really eager to see where they take it in the second season because of how they ended this first season. Sure. I, I think ultimately it's a feel-good show. Um, I, again, some of the humor works, some of it doesn't. I felt like the daughter subplot, I don't want to get too much into it, was just kind of annoying and didn't bring anything new or fresh to the whole, you know, relationship between father 
father and daughter, I suppose. Right. And like, you know, the typical uh, cranky, selfish teenager thing going on. Right. And uh, it, it didn't work for me. But the best scenes of the show are the ones with Steve Carell and John Malkovich. Oh, My absolutely. man, John Malkovich is such a good actor. Hands down. And he is, I mean, he was one of your favorite characters you commented yeah, he, earlier. Yeah, he absolutely was. To me, he was the best part of this show. I mean, Steve Carell is always going to be, you know, funny, kind of laugh out loud kind of a guy. And you, you're going to want to watch anything he does. But John Malkovich had such a, a wide range. He showed a lot of restraint in some scenes that really worked for this character who is a scientist and, and kind of like a quiet guy by nature. An intelligent scientist. Right. Who has a lot of truths to say. Yeah. But says them in a funny way, right? And, and so what happens is in, in his relationship, this bipolar relationship with Steve Carell, it brings out this other side of him. And it's right. just nice to see that interplay, you know? Right. And John Malkovich is a great actor. You know, a good supporting cast, uh, definitely. Yep. Uh, we have uh, Jimmy Yang, mm -hmm. who plays, you know, uh, a scientist as well, Chen. working, uh, you know, yeah, for Space Force, who becomes kind of like a tutor to Tawny Newsom, who plays Angela. Yeah, right, she, in yeah the, show. The, the helicopter pilot, who at the beginning, I didn't think she was going to play much of a role, but they really did a good job of weaving her into the storyline. Story, right? And she, she's a really good actress. And I'm I want to see her in more movies. And yeah, stuff. she's yeah, like the up and coming job. rookie, right? Coming yeah. to her own as a you know as as a, as, a, as an astronaut, mm -hmm. right? And that's her dream. That subplot of uh, her character and uh, Jimmy Yang's character it was works. fun to watch, and it works. And the relationship that they built that was a lot of fun to watch. And you have people like Ben Schwartz, you know, who was the voice of Sonic, and he was Rafi on Parks and Rec. He plays the social media, I guess, advisor to the main character, and I thought he did a good job in, in being boisterous and really kind of like symbolizing what social media is and how mm -hmm. crazy it is in our society. I thought that Noah Emmerich played a really good job of being a jerk. I'd use other words, but I'm trying to keep it PG. And lastly, I just want to say I loved the few moments we had of Jane Lynch. I actually wanted more of her. So ultimately, should you spend your time watching this 10 episode series? Well, firstly, I mean, what else are you gonna do, right? We're all kind of like in semi lockdown, but uh, it is worth your time, I would say. Uh, you won't feel like it's a waste of your time. Uh, it's not one of those shows I think that you're gonna binge. So it, it, is, it is worth it. It has some laughs. It has definitely some heart-filled moments. It gets better as it goes through the season. Uh, so ultimately, yeah, you know, especially at the end, they're really gonna wanna get you to watch season two because something crazy happens at the end. Oh yeah, no, sure. I agree. I think that it's a show worth watching, but will it be talked about and will people say that it's one of the best shows of the year? Probably not. But if you if you appreciate and enjoy Steve Carell and John Malkovich, I think you'll get, you know, what you're expecting, you know, from those two actors. You know, we, we neglected to mention Lisa Kudrow. Who played, oh, uh, I know. Well, uh, it's, it's a minor character. It's a minor character it's, for sure. And, and it, actually, yeah. one of the most underdeveloped characters, which bothered me, in yeah. the show, I, 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 I mean, there's character layers to her, but there's some stuff that's missing, at least okay. in my eyes, when it comes to her. Oh yeah, um, well, obviously, it, it takes her to a certain place, and it never explains why it takes her into that area. That, nor do you get to see what happens with her while she's there that much, which yeah. I found could have been a little bit more explored. That's but true. You're, you're right. Yeah. Yeah. Because that, that's uh, more interesting than the daughter storyline. That's for sure. Right. So overall, I will give this show three and a half reels. Oh, wow. Okay. Three and a half. Three and a half. I thought you'd be more critical than I am. Um, I know it seems like I've been very positive about this show, but I'll be honest. Um, I felt like I was kind of forcing myself to watch this for, the, for our review. I tried to stay very optimistic about it but ultimately it's not as funny as I thought it would be considering the cast especially so yeah. I'm actually just gonna give it three reels but I wow. really do think that season two is gonna be better so stay tuned absolutely yeah and, and it has a few laughs so if you need a laugh check it out and as always look us up on social media we're on Facebook at real screeners and Instagram real dot screeners and keep the conversation going guys let us know what you think of Space Force it, does it fall on its face or were you laughing from start to finish That's definitely right. let us know guys yes and if you enjoy our reviews don't forget to like share and subscribe and check us out next time for some more real take on movies TV shows Everything. Whatever we can get our hands on. That's right. <laughs> so, like many Netflix series, Space Force is directed by a flu, a, a flu, a flu over the cuckoo's nest. <laughs> okay. It's Newsom. Newsom was her first name. <laughs>
Tawny, Tawny Newsome.